In times of crisis, people look to their leaders for answers. But ever since the planets were ripped from our sky, it seems all I can offer are more questions. And now, with Mars returned, I hardly know where to start. Where is she? Your theory was correct. The relic is of the pyramids, there's no doubt. Word is out about Mars. I need more time. The Cabal are mobilizing. We need to... Secure the camp! Seems they have another target. What are they aiming at? Savathun. Guardian, Eris and I are establishing hidden operations near the cradle. What's your location? We're in some kind of crop field. What you see is a window into the Golden Age. Mars has returned with temporal instabilities, and Savathun's presence here is no coincidence. We believe the reappearance of Mars drove her out of hiding, and our intel says she may be in a weakened state. The Cabal fleet is blocking the flight path onto her ship. We need you to find a way to get up there and track Savathun down. This may be our only chance to strike. The Cabal are setting up a giant cannon. I have an idea. Head inside and get me to a console. Bring me to the console. Let's see how this cannon works. After Queen Mara conducted that ritual, I thought Sabathun would go into hiding. So why is she showing herself again so soon? Seems too reckless for a god of cunning. Okay, got it. We need fuel, power, and projectile control. You'll be the projectile, of course. I know what you're thinking, but trust me. This will work. My plans always work. Let's start with opening the fuel lines. Next up, generators. You know, if I were a god of cunning, I wouldn't show up with a giant ship. It's like saying, here I am, come kill me. Or... Maybe Savathun's waving a red flag at a bull. Maybe we're the bull. We need two override codes to get the lift moving. Only Cabal engineers carry them. Get me to that console. I'll activate the lift. Lift is active. We just have to adjust the trajectory. When I was searching for the cannon schematics, I saw marching orders from Kaipo. She wants to retake Mars as Cabal territory. Not sure how she'll feel about us interfering. All right, the cannon is aligning. Time to reload, Guardian. Don't worry, you'll be fine. But I'll stand by to revive, just in case. To my knowledge, no Guardian has ever been on Sabathun's ship before. Either she's inviting us aboard, She's so weak after that encounter with Queen Mara that she's getting clumsy. I'm hoping for the latter, but I wouldn't bet on it. Ikora, we made it onto the ship. 
and we're seeing traces of void light. Seems like maybe another Guardian got up here first. That's impossible. Perhaps we've acted too hastily. There are too many unknowns. Sarathun is the god of cunning. To wait for a moment when her intentions are clear... We would wait forever. Not forever. Just until we can provide backup. Guardian, Eris and I are pinned down. If you turn back now, it'll give us more time to plan. I don't think Sabathun will give us free time, Ikora. This might be our only shot. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Be careful. Did you see that moth just now? It was glowing with light. Not corrupted light, Guardian, but light like ours. The Hive shouldn't be able to use the light against us. They shouldn't be able to use it at all. The Traveler would never grant them that power. Not willingly, anyway. This just isn't adding up. We need to find Savathun. In there. I'm picking up unusual energy readings from that statue. Let's make a quick detour. Those moths will attack if you don't shoot them, Guardian. That statue doesn't look hive. I've never seen anything like it. Looks like pyramid technology. What's it doing on Savathun's ship? We should bring it back to Ikora. There are reports of Savathun trying to capture Void Light from dead Guardians. Maybe this is related. Maybe she's been studying the Void all this time. Could that be how she did this? That was Savathun. Hurry! other way. That thing is not like me. You see that, right? I... I can't believe this. We have to keep going. Oh, Traveler, what has she done to you? What is this place? This doesn't look like a hive throne world. Tell me, O oh honored guest. It's her. How did you do it? How did you find the strength to destroy something so like yourself? To look in a mirror and kill what looks bad. Come on, you're strong. That was too easy. It did seem too easy, didn't it? Here, Ikora. We're back on Mars. Back? From where? Savathun's throne world. I know, we should have checked in. But we had Savathun in our sights. That might have been our only shot at her, and we couldn't miss it. I understand completely. That's not like Savathun to allow herself to be seen so easily. There's... something else. Before we left the ship, we ran into one of her knights. And it... It had a ghost, Ikora. Same as any other light bearer. A ghost? A hive knight with a ghost? But that means... Savathun stole the light. But 
that's impossible, isn't it? Impossible? With Savathun, nothing is impossible. Savathun, the Witch Queen. Hive god of cunning and lies. Hive legend tells us she was born on a hostile, far-off planet, where she would have lived a short, uneventful life. If it weren't for the worm familiar that warned of an impending cataclysm. And so, she led her siblings into the depths, where the ancient worm gods offered them immeasurable power in exchange for endless blood tribute. From this, the Hive were born, and countless civilizations were condemned to extinction. For untold ages, they devoured life and light wherever it could be found, facing little resistance, until they tried to take on the Guardians. After the death of her brother Oryx, Savathun went into hiding. Not out of fear, of course, but out of strategy. Because Savathun knows the best way to beat your enemy is to join them. In her greatest trick yet, she infiltrated the vanguard, weakening us from within. And stealing our most sacred resource. The one thing we thought she could never touch. The light. Light-bearing hive, complete with her own ghosts. I should have seen this coming, but how? We're in a new paradigm now, Guardian, where the boundaries between are becoming increasingly blurred, especially between what's right and what's wrong. If I had been in your place, to be honest, I don't know what I would have done. But there's no use dwelling on that. Let's assess what we do know. I see you picked up a clue along the way. One that might explain why Savathun decided to return alongside Mars. According to your ghost telemetry, that fragment is giving off the same vibrations as the pyramid tech relic. That just so happened to return with Mars. Go take a look. I'll explain more when you report back. Here I was, bemoaning the fact that we now had two mysteries to solve, and you, Walson, making breakthroughs left and right. So, the relic rendered a full blueprint out of a single fragment, almost as if you were shaping that weapon based on its own memory, which parallels the distortions all over the planet, open wounds where the past bleeds into the present. Somehow the relic can manipulate time, with the right conduit, of course, which Savathun happened to have. But could she use the relic? And what for? The questions just keep piling up. It seems the answers are buried within Savathun's throne world. I need someone to go in and dig them up. Guardian, how do you feel about working with the Hidden? Eris says throne worlds are kingdoms of thought, built according to the desires of the Creator. I suppose Savathun desired a throne world made of light. Everything here is a human. What's strange to me is that she's vulnerable here. 
Why would she just let us walk in? We need a clue about how she stole the light. Hey, listen closely. You're not supposed to be here. Guardians aren't safe in a place like this. Who is this? Well, that's neat to know, pal, and you don't. Uh, need to know. I mean, look, just get out before Sabathun and her light-up goons realize you're here. Are you with the Vanguard? Hello? We lost him. I can trace the signal. Any lead's a good lead, when you have no leads. We're blocked, but I'm picking up more of that psychic energy over there. How did you do that? It's like you created those platforms out of thin air. That, up there. I think that door will lead us out. We just need a way up. I'm sensing more psychic energy nearby. It might help us find our way out of here. Hey, 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 you're stirring up the hive. This, this is exactly why I told you to leave. What do you know about hive using the light? That's why you're here. That's need to know. Yeah, yeah. Now look, all right, I really shouldn't be doing this, but come meet me outside the fortress. Just be discreet, all right? The signal's coming from beyond that gate. We have to get it open. Guardian down. Hey, what did you do? What did you do? Oh, no, you triggered the alarm. The hive are gonna be all over you. I happen to be a discreet. We're trying to open the gate. Look, just, just try to stay alive, all right? Once the gate's open, just make a run for it. Gate's open. Let's go. Between you and me, I don't think this guy we've been talking to is working for the Vanguard. I guess it could be a rogue hidden agent or a lost guardian. But maybe it's just Sabathun disguising her voice. Any lead's a good lead. Scorn ahead. What are they doing here? They don't go anywhere without being directed. Another hive, building the light. Eyes up, Guardian. Not sure I'll ever get used to seeing ghosts serving the hive. All ghosts were created after the collapse. The Traveler released us just before it went dormant. These ghosts had thousands of opportunities to choose a Guardian, and they passed right over humanity and chose our enemy instead. I can't forgive that. You? You brought us here? Hey, hey, take it easy. Just let me explain. Hey, you know, get awkward out of the way first, I always say. This, uh, pile of ash and bone well, used to be my, uh... Hey, uh, actually, don't worry about it. All you need to know, us wandering ghosts gave into the hive believing we'd found purpose and, well, peer pressure's a hell of a thing. Huh? Also, because it's what the Traveler must have wanted, yeah. then hive killed guardians with light and you think, that's the Traveler's will, really? I'll tell you what, I don't buy it. Not anymore. The Witch Queen's up to something, and, you know, maybe together we get to the bottom of it, huh? There's an old hive temple nearby with Savathun's secrets inside. That is all I know. The what and the why? That's your game, yeah? And when you get there, radio me. Private channels only. Oh! Almost forgot. The name's Finch. Honor to meet you. Yeah. For real, real. Finch, we're nearing the hive temple you mentioned. Whoa, 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 hey, careful using my name out there. I don't need the loose and high catching on to our uh, friendship. Okay, okay. You'll be careful. So, Finch, mind telling us what exactly it is we're looking for? Oh, you know, uh, uh, what's his name, that old Warlock Osiris? Yeah, it's his ghost. Well, was his ghost. Wait, you mean Sagira? Th that's the one, yeah. You know what happened to her. How she... Sivo Arath came for her, backed her into a corner. But clearly Savathun found her shell, impersonated Osiris. Ah, uh, I see. That must have been part of her play, to steal the light, I mean. Sure seems that way. Well, I'm, I'm sensing some skepticism. We don't know you, but you're very eager to trust us. 
makes me uneasy. Hey, 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 now, I, I am taking a huge chance trusting you too, you know. I bet you change your tune once you find Sagira. If we find her, then we can talk trust. More scorn. What are they even doing here? More traitorous ghosts serving the hive. Good riddance. They deserve what they get. Oh, so, uh, by that logic, I, I should be crushed into pieces, too. You turn tail back to the hive, then yeah, maybe. That's, uh, some pretty blind judgment there, my friend. Meeting you confirmed a suspicion. Siding with the hive was a choice, and you all made it willingly. Look, making a choice doesn't always mean you have multiple options, you know. Look, I am not saying buddying up with the Hive was right, and yeah, 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 maybe a lot of us do deserve what's coming. But me, I'm just trying to right my wrongs. That's got to count for something. I guess we'll see. A walker. Scorn aren't playing around. So to get this straight, we're heading into a dangerous temple filled with deadly scorn to find Sagira, who was placed there by Sabathun. Well, that's about the gist of it, yeah. And this definitely isn't some kind of trap. Now, oh, come on, look, interrogate me all you want, but I am not hiding anything, I promise. Honesty goes a long way with my guardians. Is that...? Ikora Ray, a leader of the Vanguard. I signaled her just in case. Let's call it insurance. A watchful eye. In case your actions differ from your words. I core Ray. Wow. It's, uh, yeah. Whoa. <sighs> I always wanted to work for the Vanguard. With, not for. Do right by us, and we can discuss a more permanent role once Savathun is dealt with. That's the last of them. Let's head down. That was a giant scorn. Was that a Baron? I might be seeing things. The Barons are supposed to be dead. That was no Baron, but it felt just as powerful. What are we dealing with here? Uh, I uh, wouldn't stick around to find out if I were you. Grab Sagira and go, okay? I stand before a being with a thousand names. It whispers one. The witness. Remember it. Remember that name. Did anybody else hear that? Sounded like Sabathun. Who's the witness? No clue. I've never heard that name before. Hey, that's exciting though, right? A lead! What's most exciting is that you were telling the truth. Trust earned, then, huh? Yeah? Call it cautious optimism for now. Your guidance yielded results. But let's not forget, Savathun remains at large. Well, hopefully not for long if we have anything to say about it. I just want to expose Savathun. You know, stop whatever game she's playing. You can be sure we'll hold you to that. In the meantime, what should we do with Sagira? I'm not sure how we heard that voice from it, but I have a theory. Bring her back to me as soon as you can. And good work. All of you. First the relic. Then the illusions near Savathun's fortress, and now Sagira's shell, all linked by the same energy. The same dark energy, which you can interact with. It's been useful so far. I just don't like how little we know about it. I think I would to have some theories about all this. We should head back to Mars. Yeah? Finding Sagira brings up a lot of old memories. When you picked up her shell, you were able to access something left behind. A psychic fingerprint. I believe the relic awoke a new ability within you. One that reveals what lies beneath the surface. One rooted in darkness. Something tells me this witness Savathun mention is directly tied to her theft of the light. We need to hear more of that fingerprint. Which means you need to strengthen that ability. We've learned from the Pyramid on Europa before. Head there. Eris will guide you. If my instincts are correct, 
This ability could be just what we need to solve this case. You took power from this pyramid once before, Guardian. Ikora believes there is more to be found. How will communing with darkness help us understand the voices we heard when we found Sagira's shell? Reach the statue at the heart of the pyramid. Strengthen your connection to the darkness, and you will see beyond the limitations of normal sight. Interesting. I'm picking up a Cabal transmission. I pulled a clip for you. To the warriors of the Cabal Empire, defectors march upon the European Pyramid, searching for trinkets of darkness. Their expedition is not sanctioned. Any that join them act alone. My father's obsession with the voice in the darkness must not infect our own ranks. I guess this means the Empress won't find us fighting our way in. Cabal shield blocking the doorway. Looks like they got up here first. Eris, the pyramid is reacting to our presence somehow. Opening doors, moving platforms. Perhaps it senses something in you. When I explored these strange passageways, I felt it sensed something in me, too. I resented it at first. To believe it recognized in me some secret kinship. But like you, Guardian, I have learned to use it. There are Cabal supplies everywhere. It looks like they're trying to establish a foothold inside the pyramid. Hoping to pilfer artifacts of darkness for their war against war itself, I assume. Zivu Arath destroyed their homeworld, and the conquerors do not take well to being conquered. I think that device is jamming the pyramid's movement somehow. You said the pyramid recognizes something in us, Paris. But what? A defender. A finely honed blade. Curiosity. It could be any of those. Or none. My Cora too has asked this question, and my answer is always the same. Pure speculation. I worry the ambiguity weighs on her too heavily. I don't think the Pyramid is helping us out of generosity, Guardian. It's manipulating us, using us somehow. The darkness is a neutral force, but the Pyramids have an agenda. Until we know what it is, we can't let our guard down. Something must control these ships. We've never seen a pilot. In her journeys beyond the Heliopause, Queen Marasov encountered the entity that commands the Pyramids. She said its mind spoke louder than any other she has ever heard. A cacophony of thought. Perhaps those voices steer these ships. One of those voices spoke to you in the Black Garden as well. Ikora said that this new ability allows you to see psychic imprints of past events. And if you commune with the Pyramid, you might be able to see the imprint on Sagira's shell. It's strange. The light made you forget, and now the darkness helps you remember. The Cabal are trying to destroy the statue. We have to stop them, or you won't be able to commune with the pyramid. I can feel it calling to us. Be careful, Guardian. Eris, we communed with the statue. We can't tell yet if anything has changed. It seems like we might not notice the effects until we're back in Sabathun's throne world. Either way, we don't want to stay here longer than we have to. Wise, these ships are still a mystery to us. I admit, even after I sent you off, I had my doubts. But Eris reports the Pyramid responded to your presence. A sign that we're headed in the right direction, I think. Now that you've paid a visit to the Pyramid, you should be able to reveal the memory on Sagara's shell in full. The fact you can't means there's still something we're missing.
The Hidden have been analyzing the wounds you see all across the desert. The areas around them emanate with strong concentrations of psychic energy. They've located a similar concentration inside the throne room. I believe that's what we need in order to make Savathun's memory fully manifest. Take Sagira's shell there. Then we'll see if I'm correct. Hopefully, this is how we'll finally find some answers. Guardian, the psychic energy my hidden detected is concentrated in this area. Find the source, and you might be able to learn more from Sagira's shell. It's possible she learned how Savathun stole the Traveler's Light before she died. There must be some clue here. Search the area. I've delivered the general location data to your ghost, though I don't have anything precise. I'm sensing pyramid-related interference between us and the coordinates Ikora sent. There must be a way to get around it. That helped, but I'm picking up another source of interference. Let's track it down. Ikora, we encountered pyramid interference. The one on Europa was so welcoming to us. What changed? On Europa, I suspect that your purposes overlap neatly with the pyramids. You destroyed the Cabal. It granted you more power. Here, your presence hardly registers. You have nothing to ask for and nothing to offer. Remember, the Pyramid Entity considers itself neither our friend nor our enemy. These old, half-forgotten pathways. That power you're using is making them real again. Rebuilding them through memory. Hopefully, Sagira's shell holds that same potential. With the right concentration of psychic energy, a resonant memory connected to her shell will manifest. But this is all theoretical still. It's never been done. Once we learned Sabathun was impersonating Osiris, I wanted to believe Sagira was still alive. Trapped somewhere, like him. And that if we played our cards right, we'd free her too. But at least we found her. She can help us one last time. And then we can bring her home. Ikora, I think we found it. There's something here. Find a connection point. We need answers now. Those distorted symbols. I can't quite make them out. What is this place? Ikora, we've been transported somewhere. It doesn't look like the rest of Sabathun's throne world. Ikora? We lost her, Guardian. I guess we're going in alone. I stand before a being with a thousand names. It whispers one. The witness. Remember it. Remember that name. It is not darkness, but something that wears it like a cloak. It gives darkness a wicked shape. I refuse to be its servant. I spent centuries crafting schemes, playing tricks, finding loopholes. And then I select my new name. A man with many enemies and few friends. But those friends know secrets about the light, about new beginnings. My plan takes shape. That came from Sagira's shell, like a psychic imprint, a memory. Sabathun's memory. And if that's what it was, it means she used Ikora's relationship with Osiris to learn something about the light. Something dangerous. Hey, hey, are you there? We're here, Finch. Oh, good, 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 good. I've been trying to reach you. I couldn't get through. Look, I got another tip for you. Big lead on your next clue. So, uh, come meet me. No time to lose. Whoa, 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 whoa. You saw a what? A memory? See, see, I knew Sagira's shell would start us in the right direction. I knew it! Okay, 
Here's the tip. Ever heard of Oryx? The Taken King? Sabathun's brother? Yeah. Okay, I thought so. Sabathun's got a temple dedicated to him. I, I, look, I know what you're thinking. Who cares, right? But we found Sagira's shell in a temple dedicated to the sister, Zivu. Imagine what we could find in Oryx's temple. Okay, and as far as how we get in? Well, you just leave that to me. The Temple of Oryx is protected by one of Sabathun's toughest warriors. He's guarding something. Something you can use like you use Sagira's shell. But the only way in is through some old canals, which means we need a boat. Leave that part to me. Hey, 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 that's our guy! The one guarding the temple! What's he doing away from his post? This could be our chance. Look, back there. The path is unblocked. So, Savathun was impersonating Osiris, Ikora's friend and mentor, right? Maybe... Ikora slipped up. Said something that helped Savathun get at the light. Whatever happened between them, this isn't Ikora's fault. Sure, sure. I'm just saying. Ikora is a spy master, right? And Osiris is her friend. Yeah. Think she would have noticed. Sabathun tricked all of us, including you and every other Hyde ghost. We're not going to let Ikora take this on herself. Yeah, these weird hive controls. I mean, how does this. Ah! There it is. Here we go! Boat's moving! Finch? Why did we stop? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't expect this. Just a little leg up. <laughs> Get that barrier down, right? Sure you can. Hey, you did it! Good job. Boat's on the move again. Finch, we're stuck again. Oh, seriously, but I did the thing. It's just this hive tech. It's so archaic. Uh, just, just give me a sec. Okay, we're getting close to the swamp now. Temple's not far from here. You said this is a temple to Oryx? Yeah, that's right. Sabathun's brother. The Taken King himself. Those two killed each other about a million times over, but she dedicated a temple to him. It's funny how that works. Now be careful here. Something happened to this place. It's overgrown with darkness. I can sense light here, though. I just can't see it. Maybe there's a safe path through. Guardian down. Looks like we're all clear, Finch. We're heading in. Careful. The knight guarding this place? He's an old rival of Oryx, and he's no joke. Pretty funny that Sabathun has him guarding Oryx's temple, though. Finch, you were right. We found something. It's a piece of the Tablets of Ruin. The Tablets Oryx used to create Taken. I was right. I was right. I knew it. I knew the Taken were involved somehow. Alak Hul's ghost got away. It just left his body here. Uh, contingency plan. They're learning. I'm trying to stay a step ahead of you. But you got the Tablet. That's the important part. That gets us one step closer to taking down the Witch Queen. The portal that was here before is gone. We'll have to find another way forward if we want to manifest the memory. The tablet we found must be connected to how Savathun got the light. I will never be the Taken Queen. I refuse to play second fiddle to my brother Oryx. When Oryx carved the Tablets of Ruin, he described the ability to create the Taken. But Oryx's chisel was affected by viral power from the deep. I studied its vermicular path. I read between the lines. The Tablets hide a riddle. The answer to this riddle is something greater than the power to take. It is the power of the witness to move worlds from one reality to another. This is what I will do. I will not take. 
I will give. I will grant the Traveler a safe haven away from its enemies. And once it hangs in the sky of my throne world, I will seal it away. Savathun is planning to pull the Traveler into her throne world and seal it away. If that happens, we could lose our connection to the Light forever. We need to talk to Ikora. So, it's not the darkness that's responsible for the planet's mass abduction, but an entity behind it. The Witness. And it seems I might be the one responsible for Savathun's theft of the light. I won't lie. I... anticipated this. After all, I was the one who welcomed her into the tower. Who gave her access to the Vanguard Archives. And now, humanity is at risk of losing the Traveler to the Hive. If I truly am to blame here, I need to know before Savathun gets her claws anywhere near the Traveler. Your friend Finch has been in touch with a new lead. I'm not so sure about this one, but right now we can't afford any hesitation. Connect with him in the throne world. Find the answers we need, no matter what it takes. about this lead guardian this could be big big enough to crack this case wide open finch a hunch is not enough we need evidence compelling evidence okay how about a secret underground temple because i found one deep in the tunnels there and guess who it's dedicated to savathun yeah well kinda it's dedicated to savathuna savathun before she was a hive god i mean talk about compelling just imagine what's buried down there Imagine? So you haven't seen this object? I didn't get eyes on it per se, but I know it's powerful, enough to attract the whole mess of scorn. If this object is what you promise, then it'll be worth it. Stay alert, Guardian. We can't miss this one. The scorn are even more entrenched than the last time we were here. Oh yeah, the scorn have dug themselves in deep down here. So Finch, tell us more about this temple. How do you know it's dedicated to Sathona? I only got a peek inside, but the statue in there looks just like her. So Savathun built a mausoleum for her younger self, then abandoned it. Why? Uh, I don't know. Um, embarrassment? Who isn't a little ashamed of their past? <laughs> Dead end. But there's an illusion here, with Savathun's signature. So... Didn't leave this area totally unprotected. Why didn't she return to upgrade her defenses with the light? Why haven't the Lucent Hive come to confront the Scorn? Oh, maybe it's bait. Maybe she's luring the Scorn in so she can convert them. Use them against the Witness. I highly doubt Savathun would gamble her throne world for the sake of a few Scorn Brigades. No. Savathun and the Witness are fighting a turf war. You don't see ground unless you're losing. So, that's the temple Savathun dedicated to herself. It's... It's quite a sight, isn't it? Can't accuse Savathun of being too humble. There's no way to lower the bridge from here. There has to be another path forward. Use your senses, Guardian. You've gone too far to turn back empty-handed. Okay, hey, before you go in the temple, we should take bets on what this object's gonna be. Now, I don't technically have any glimmer, but I do have a pretty solid theory based on what we found so far. Now's not a good time, Finch. Yes, don't distract the Guardian. We're already taking a gamble that this thing has the answers we need. Guardian the Traveler down. and the Last City are depending on it. Guardian, look. That plate in the center should lower the drawbridge. Finally! Ikora, we're lowering the drawbridge now. Good. Once you're in, head straight for the statue Finch described. If this fits the pattern, the object should be nearby. Guardian? Ghost? Have you found the object yet? 
The only thing here is the statue. What? There's gotta be more! Ikora, I'm sorry, but it doesn't look like there's anything here but the statue. Finch, please don't tell me the Guardian did all this for nothing. No, no, there's something there, I swear. Wait. What is the object? Is the statue itself? Or one part of the statue. That worm familiar looks like it's a separate piece. Of course. This is Savathun's temple after all. There had to be a trick in it. On our way to the surface now. And, and you've got the object, right? Otherwise, this was a huge waste of time. We got it. Thanks for the concern, Finch. Huh. Well, I, I never doubted you for a second. Ikora was worried, but I knew you two could handle that Ahamkara. <laughs> Wasn't even a real one. <laughs> the danger was real enough. I never should have sent the Guardian in on such shaky intel. Even if it was our only lead. Well, we made it out in one piece. And if this object shows us how Savathun got the light, the risks were worth it. Yes. Let's hope. Yeah! Go, team! What happened? How come we can't get in? Ikora, it didn't work. We couldn't unlock the memory on the worm familiar. What? Why? What happened? I'm not sure. We did the same as before, but this time, it rejected us. But... That can't be. That's the only lead we have. I suppose we'll need another plan. I don't know. Bring that thing back to Mars. I'll talk to Eris. See if she has any other ideas. On our way. Ikora, why would you keep this from me? If I had known... I didn't keep anything from you, Zavala. Not intentionally. I couldn't fill you in on every minute detail. When it comes to Savathun, no detail is too small. You know that better than anyone. Which is why I made some judgment calls without you. As you do without me. Not on a matter like this! Guardian, we can discuss this more later. My point, Ikora, is that we are meant to be a team. You can't rely on your instincts alone. Perhaps I can't rely on them at all. The way this investigation is going, it's clear my judgment has been compromised. I should step back, let you and Eris handle this. As a team. Ikora's instincts are the only reason we've come so close to the truth. This new lead puts it firmly within our grasp. All right then. You and the Guardian follow up. Keep me posted. A trusted source has informed us of new evidence. A memento from Savathun's last known location before her conversion to the light. 
It's kept deep within her fortress, a difficult place to reach. But we have no other options. Go there, and I'll be in touch. Eris, we're in position. Where are we headed? Your destination lies deep within the fortress, Guardian, in the Apothecary Wing. There you should find a particular shard of crystal. You might recognize it from Savathun's time in the custody of the Awoken. So this crystal is a piece of her former prison, which means it was likely on her when she stole the light. Yes. My source believes the events leading to her escape are intrinsically linked to the mystery before us now. That must be the Apothecary Wing. All the way over there. Yes. Savathun's halls are just as winding and deceitful as her mind. To move forward, you must seek out the more aberrant paths. Eris said we have to seek out the aberrant paths. So what looks aberrant around here? Eris, what's the situation? The Guardian is en route to the object in question now, Commander. Good. You are sure this will get us the answers we need? We can't afford another dead end. The Queen of the Reef does not share information lightly. Mara Sov gave you the tip? Didn't mention that before. I did, in fact, mention it. To Ikora, moments before you interrupted us. She agreed there was no more reliable source on this matter than Savathun's former captor. I trust Mara, but she plays her cards too close to her chest. If she had shared this earlier, we wouldn't be so desperate now. To win against the Hive God of cunning and lies, it's best not to show one's hand too early. Guardian down. I bet this Hive Sword will be just as useful as the last one. Now we need to find a lock to smash open. The Witch Queen may have recast her realm in a lucent sheen, but remnants of dark architecture still lurk underneath. And the Guardian's new ability reveals these hidden remnants. Yes, Ikora explained. Why can't we use the light to achieve the same result? The light may be a powerful force, but when dealing in illusions, it has proven insufficient. It is the mind that must bend to see the truths hidden here. Thus, only darkness can show the way. My only fear is where that way will lead us in the end. All right, Guardian, let's focus. To find the way forward, we need a sword and something to smash with it. You've done well honing the gift granted to you by the Black Fleet, Guardian. Do you see now, Commander, why Ikora chose as she did? For all her doubts, she knew only darkness, channeled by a strong mind, could bring us this far. I understand. My issue isn't with the call Ikora made, but the fact that she made it on her own. We know how Savathun operates. She singles people out for a reason. There's no need to make her job any easier. And Eris... I think you know better than anyone that darkness is not a path to be forged alone. She wasn't alone. Though, I take your point. This is definitely the Apothecary Wing. Somehow, it feels even creepier in here. Naturally. You're trespassing on the testing grounds for the Lucent Hive's most wretched experiments. Savathun likely appointed one of her High Council wizards to keep watch over this place. Find them. The crystal is sure to be nearby. No signs of a crystal so far. Just rows and rows of jars filled with... Is that light? But it's tainted somehow. Savathun has always encouraged her wizards to push boundaries of Hive magic. It seems that hasn't changed with the light. Perhaps that corruption has far less to do with the power than the one channeling it. Or the power has permanent side effects. Darkness transforms Sabbath into kin from prey to predators. 
Not darkness itself, but an entity behind it corrupted the Hive. Conditioned their power on an endless blood tide. Their fate is not inevitable. I have no doubt that some can handle darkness with discipline. But those who can't, they're not the only ones to pay the price. This is an inverted realm. Explore any and all directions, especially those you least suspect. Looks like we're interrupting something. But where's the wizard overseeing all this? Found the one in charge around here. Good. Now go and beat the whereabouts of the crystal out of them. There's the crystal guardian. Time to finish this. Devotion inspires bravery. Bravery inspires sacrifice. And sacrifice. That was Savathun, all right. But what does that mean? This is the evidence we've been seeking all along. Ikora's instincts were correct, after all. Indeed. But we don't have our answers yet. Go unlock the memory, Guardian. Then let's see if this cracks the case. I've read some of Ikora's notes on the darkness and the light, Guardian. She thinks the darkness is closely linked with memory. You access this place with the darkness power. What exactly have we tapped into here?
incredible that I could forget something like that, isn't it? Such a storied life, erased. The light offers us a fresh start. But if we don't know where we came from, how will we know where to go? I'm so grateful to you for reminding me, for telling my story. Wait, what is she talking about? She remembers. We helped her remember. Thanks for the memories, Guardian. We have to leave! I knew Ikora had nothing to do with Savathun having the light. But the truth is... so much worse. I don't understand how the Traveler could choose her the same way it chose you. We need to talk to Zavala. So, you're saying... Savathun was dead? Our most devious adversary, the one who nearly decimated the last city from within, was dead. And the Traveler resurrected her? I wouldn't have believed it either, but... But why would she need us to recover her memories if she never lost them in the first place? This has to be another trick. A lie to fool us into surrendering the Traveler without a fight. This has been the Traveler's approach from the beginning. The Books of Sorrow detail many civilizations it blessed with the Light, then abandoned. High propaganda. The Fallen tell the same story. When the Witness and its Black Fleet came to call, the Traveler moved on to our system. Where it sacrificed itself to save humanity from the same forces. Forces which included the Hive! After all that, why would the Traveler give our worst enemy the light? It doesn't matter. I don't know why the Traveler gave Savathun the light. Maybe it has changed its mind about Guardians. Maybe it's not as infallible as we once believed. I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Because I'm here to protect humanity. And if Savathun takes the Traveler, we lose our light, along with any hope for surviving the Witness's return. So, whatever it takes to stop this heist, we will do. All right. How do we stop this? I'm not sure yet. But I know where to find out. Hive legend tells us Savathun was born on a far-off planet, where she would have lived an uneventful life if it weren't for her worm familiar. The object you retrieved from the underbelly of the throne world. What if it's not a statue? What if it's the worm familiar itself, calcified from age? That would explain why you couldn't unlock it with the others. That also means it contains a memory that Savathun herself doesn't know. What that is? We're going to find out, with the one tool we have capable of slicing deep into the past. It'll be risky, using the relic this way, which is why I'll be taking this on myself. Eris will help me prepare. Meet us on Mars when you're ready. This is how we stop Savathun, Guardian. I know it.
These frail siblings will soon be claimed by the light. Unless we claim them first, we will tell the most cunning sibling of a cataclysm, a prophecy of great loss. We will feed her fear, her pride. We will say, Young Sathona, the end is coming. A great cataclysm. A god wave. In the sky, there is only death. But salvation lies in the deep. Lead your sisters down. Your coming will spare their short lives. And you will be reborn. The Witch Queen. Salathun. They were tricked. The Hive were lied to. So, the Hive God of Lies was lied to. This changes everything. Well, not everything. We still can't let Savathun seal the Traveler away. The ritual's already begun. We need to move fast. Savathun may be one of the Traveler's chosen by rights, but she's still leaning on tricks she learned from the Witness. Take the familiar to Savathun's fortress. I'll follow as soon as I'm recovered. Wait until you're in the heart of the ritual, then unleash the memory. That should be enough to destabilize things, and break her hold on the Traveler. Remember, Guardian, Savathun's strategy rests on knowing more than anyone else. On her ability to twist lies and cast confusion. But now, we can turn the tables on her. The Traveler! Ikora, the Traveler is already here. I think we're too late. We are in the domain of the God of Cunning. Things are never what they seem. It's not too late. I can feel it. Now that the Traveler sees what Savathun is doing, why won't it take the light away from her? Why is it just letting this happen? I don't know why. We may never know. But we know what we need to do to protect the last city. Stop the ritual. Protect our connection to the light. Humanity needs you. Both of you. Scorn are flocking to the fortress because of the ritual. The Hive are summoning heavy reinforcements from the portal. That will block our route into the fortress. Hold off the Hive and the Scorn as long as you can, and leave the portal to me. I'm on my way. Hold your fire, Guardian! I've got this! Go on! I'll draw fire here! All that matters right now is the Traveler. Whatever you hear, whatever you see, don't let it distract you from stopping the ritual! The Scorn are arriving by the hundreds. The ritual must be growing stronger. Remember the plan, Guardian. Stop the ritual by whatever means necessary. Without the light, the last city is defenseless. The ritual is happening at the top of the fortress. We need to find a way up. <laughs> You're back. What a surprise. Only joking. This throne world is indistinguishable from my own mind, Guardian. Every step taken, every bullet fired, every thought whispered. I keep and count them all. Remember that. I'm so glad you're here to see this. There's her ghost.
Fight, run, fight, run. The pattern is always the same for you. Don't you ever get tired of it? Don't you want to escape? Defy the will of the Traveler. My ghosts make no concessions. We serve the Traveler's true interests. No concessions? How stupid do you think I am? You and your siblings. You killed my friends! I remember Oryx and the Taken. I remember what you did to the Awoken and the Dreaming City. Never forget what happened to Sagira, to Osiris. I would die before I ever chose to help the Hive. She's too powerful. What do we do? We have to reactivate that portal to access the memory altar. Showing her the truth won't stop her, but we need to try. The portal's open. This is a spell. Savathun is spinning a web around the Traveler. We have to free it. The tethers are coming from those towers. Find a way to reach them. What do you think you're going to do? You can't stop this. I know it goes against your nature, but you can still lose gracefully. Show her the memory, Guardian. These frail siblings will soon be claimed by the light. Unless we claim them first. What is this? How did you. We will tell the most cunning sibling of the cataclysm. The prophecy of great loss. No. No, that's not what happened. The Traveler never came to us. We were forced to choose the Deep. How could I have missed this? So now you want to play games? Then let's play! Bell's almost broken. So you're the expert now. The expert on me. On the hive. On trickery. Is that what you really think? We will feed her fear. Her pride. Go on then. You know so much. Tell me who I am. Out her support first. Wizards must be empowering her. How can she be this strong? Isn't this interesting? I miscalculated. So did you, Guardian. So protective of your traveler that you wouldn't let me keep it safe. But the witness is coming. The game is yours to play now. Yours to win or lose. Just don't say, I didn't warn you.
No. Where did her ghost go? Guardian, I just got the message. The Traveler is back in the last city. Is it done? Is Salvathun... She's dead. But her ghost got away. Good enough. Hold your position. The Hidden are coming to secure the remains. Good work, Guardian. You did the right thing. Now what? Now, we prepare for the witness and stop the next collapse. It was thrilling to find a riddle that Oryx had missed. But of course, his cunning could never defeat mine. Do you know the last time I spoke with my brother? It was just before you killed him. I told him he would die, and he said, I am always glad to die. I asked you before, why did Mars return? This is the truth. 
Remember the Nine? Think. What happens to the Nine if this solar system is destroyed? Ask the Emissary. Ask the Agent. Perhaps they will grace you with an answer. For once. I know what you're wondering. Why did Mars reappear? The Witness stole your planets and moons with a power from the deep. The power to move worlds from one place to another. So why has Mars returned while the others are still absent? And where are your lost friends? Let's play a game. Two lies, two truths. Osiris is dead. Savathun is dead. The witness birthed the darkness. In the end, your destiny lies beyond this system. How provocative. Death Birth and destiny, all in one riddle. What do you say, Guardian? When I lived as Osiris, I saw your world through human eyes. I've always been a student of humanity, but to live among you, was a new delight. Love, loss, kindness, cruelty, pain, joy. A chorus of life. I savored every note. If only you hadn't killed me. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What is the witness? What is its nature, its form, its purpose? Does its existence shatter your preconceived notions of light and dark? Does it shake your beliefs to the core, crumble the boundaries of fact and fiction? For some of you, it does. I saw that doubt when I walked in your city on human legs. But for you, Guardian, what does it mean for you? Hi, Korra. The Scorn have made it into Savathun's fortress in heavy numbers. We think they're after the source of light within. Likely it's a strategic move against the Lucent Hive. Here they come. Hey, so, so sorry to butt in. It, it's a bit more than that. That source of light? Sabathun called it the Wellspring. It's her main point of light distribution across the throne world. To score and control it or, or destroy it, or we'll all be hurting. Real bad. Then we'll protect it at all costs. So that should be the last of them. The Wellspring safe. Well, this time, yeah. But they'll be back. You can be sure of that. If the Scorn are this determined to take the Wellspring, it must mean they intend to destroy it. Yeah, yeah, well, that I don't doubt. That big old pyramid hanging out nearby, Sabathun put a pretty hefty light curse on it. And she used the Wellspring to make it happen. Whatever's inside there, she didn't want it escaping, I know that much. Then we must keep the Scorn from destroying it. Honestly, at this rate, I don't think they even need it destroyed. That curse gets weaker every time they attack. Then we have little choice. The Wellspring must be defended at all costs. Guardian. Say no more, Ikora. We're on it. We're through to the Wellspring, but it's heavily guarded. The hives seem to be drawing strength from it, forming some kind of ritual. The Wellspring is no joke. At full power, the hive will be untouchable. But, but get this, I once saw a thrall screw it up royally. Operator error, all that, you know, wrong relic in the wrong place, disrupted the whole thing. Suffice it to say, <laughs> he's long gone. Sounds like his loss is our game. Time to disrupt the Wellspring. 
that well spring is ours. Not for now, maybe. We can bet it'll be overrun again soon. The score want the wellspring real bad, which means the hive will be close by. Then we have little choice. As long as the wellspring is under direct threat, we must be there to protect it. And we will be. You can count on it. Finch, we found what looks like a hive tomb. You know anything about it? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. That place is nothing but dead hive who spent their whole lives causing pain. Uh, monsters for the monsters. You've never told us to stay away from trouble, Finch. What's really going on down here? Guardian, you've no doubt heard the stories. Where evil is vanquished and the sky opens, shining peace down on humanity. Savathun is dead, and yet again, I've seen no such signs. Instead, Imaru lives, plotting his return while the Scorn and the Hive struggle for supremacy over the throne world. And somewhere among the stars, this witness toys with us preparing to finish what it started long ago. I keep reminding myself that somehow we evaded extinction once before. I have to believe we can do it again. Even Mara Sav, Queen of the Awoken, believes that. Which is why she's here, requesting you. Reluctant as I may be to pair you with one so unpredictable, we need the support now more than ever. Go. Aid the Queen. She may prove to be our most valuable ally yet in the war to come. Is that... the very parasite that once plagued the Witch Queen herself? Queen Mara, good to see you. Do not delay us with pleasantries. This parasite knocks at death's door. What use do we have for Savathun's dying worm? This parasite is an opportunity to learn from humanity's greatest failure. Our collapse. But not ours alone. That day was as much a failure for the wit. Are you okay? I'm fine. As I said, our collapse was as much a failure for the Witness and its followers. Savathun included. Savathun was there? On behalf of the Witness. But something prevented humanity's end. Something known by Savathun and... Her worm. It requires strength and a new host to survive. To divulge its secrets. But that's a death sentence. For most, yes. But for the Queen of the Awoken? It's worth the risk. All right, Mara. Where are we headed? To a city shrouded in darkness through the nearby caverns. There you'll find the means to breathe life into the parasite once again. Understood. We'll contact you when we reach it. Mara, we found a door. It's like the inside of a pyramid. A gateway to the Dark City, built by that which commands the nearby pyramid. The Witness? Not the Witness itself, but a disciple. So what is this place exactly? A factory, you might call it. Built for the growth and facilitation of those like the very parasite you now hold. Go, see for yourself. Not for you. But how do you do that? One does not engage with the all-powerful without first gathering the most valuable tool in war. Knowledge. If hive worms were grown here, then we're looking for what? Some sort of machine? It's twofold. A source of immense hive magic, a cryptoglyph, to provide life to the parasite. And a darkness incubator to infuse them. Shortly after gaining her new power, Savathun returned to her throne world, filled it with light, stamped out whatever poisons the Witness's disciple had spread throughout, including within that factory. And yet, 
I believe Savathun far too cunning than to completely eradicate the potential power of that place. Then we'll start with the cryptoglyphs. It must be around here somewhere. An entire city of darkness, right in the middle of Savathun's home. And she did nothing to stop it? Why would she? At the time, it benefited her. Endless worms for an endless army. There's nothing in here. Just some sort of leftover darkness energy. Resonance of what used to rest there. A cryptoglyph. And yet, the Scorn gave their lives to defend it. Likely to obscure your path and trap you. Dispel it and see what happens. You were right, Mara. The Scorn seemed to be messing with us. That opened a portal. Seek further corruption throughout the space, and you will undoubtedly find our cryptoglyph. I feel like if I don't ask, we'll never tell. But all this, Savathun and the Witness, Disciples, and now this place... You wonder how I came across this information. That and why you didn't tell us sooner. While you pursued Savathun, the Parasite and I traveled far and wide, pursuing related interests. Much of this knowledge is still new, even to me. All this scorn tech lying around makes me think they're using the darkness energy in this place to build some sort of lair. Best we clean them out. I'm picking up heavy darkness signatures in here, and more corruption. You must be close to the incubator. Only one way to find out. That definitely got the scorn's attention. We're clear, but no sign of an incubator. It must be hiding in plain sight. Look around. Fear swells. Deception, Queen. What did you say? Nothing. You heard that too? The parasite. It speaks once again. It worked. You didn't think it would? Savathun's deceptions run deep. I fear that somehow the Parasite is cursed. However, I have yet to see evidence of it. Looks like the Incubator's out of juice. And the Parasite? Its vital readings are still low. Then we have achieved only partial success. There are more Incubators hidden across the Throne World. I'll attempt to locate them. Looks like our Cryptoglyphs drain too. But we may be able to fix that. See that you do. Keep the Parasite safe. I'll be in contact once I locate our next incubator. You're welcome. Ghost ears keeping you in good shape? My strength returning. Done well, Guardian. You know who we are? Watch many of you. Where host went, I went. Long for those days. Pine no more, Parasite. We seek information regarding humanity's collapse. Provide it, and you'll have a host again soon. Ah, Deception Queen. Hello again. You... well? Do not toy with us. Provide the aid we seek, and we shall do the same for you. And who hosts this humble worm, then? The Awoken Queen will provide. Do you agree? Deliver your promise, gain your desire. Till then! Mara, the worm, can it hear us? Not while it hibernates. In that case, you're not really going through with this host thing. It'll corrupt you, turn you against us. Mara? It won't. It said you were... Listen not to the treacherous words of a parasite. You're deflecting. And you're intruding. I will not speak of it again. Onward. Air here, like fundament. Good to breathe again. Don't get used to it. We'll be back feeding off a host soon enough. 
A great team, Mara and I. Better than by herself. Untrustworthy, that one. Plotting to kill Eris Morn? Crow? You even. You're lying. The parasite speaks truth. Or adjacent to it, anyway. They're not plots, more contingencies, in case evil sways them. Or you. As usual, Deception Queen provides half-truths. The what, not the why. Pulls wool over eyes once again. Enough, Parasite. Keep your tricks out of the Guardian's head. You first. Guardian, about what was said before, my contingency plans. Darkness corrupts. Eris, my brother Aldrin, you. Whether it be in this timeline or another, we cannot risk it. Sparing you all of that dark fate is... is my burden. Uh-huh. It's an absolute last resort. They all are. Okay, then. I'm not lying to you. But you're not telling us the whole truth, either. I have my methods. You have yours. I only ask that you trust me. We'd ask the same of you. In due time. Wait a second. There's no hive room here. Finch, we got nothing from these hive. Sounds like they beat you to it. Uh, I'd look around if I were you. You saw that special vision magic your guardians love so much. I've sometimes stashed stuff over there, you know, to keep valuables hidden, even from their own. Not much care for personal property in their ranks. Got it. We'll keep an eye out. Wait. This looks like a cavern, but it's not. It's one of the hive's organic buildings. Any idea what we're looking at, Finch? don't dress things up for fun. If they disguise this, whatever it is, it's it's because they feel like there's something worth hiding. Then we'll get to the bottom of it. Ah! Ho once again! Oh, Deception Queen, come to me, gracious host. You'll have your host, just as soon as we have our information. And why spill my juice gossip first? Because we'll spill your insides if you don't. Coward's way out. Kill me, lose priceless knowledge. Humanity suffers. Perhaps there's contingency for them too? Guardian, smash the parasite's skull. Relax. Have your precious knowledge. Surprising, you'll find Sabathun, much like Mara. Riddled with doubt. In the face of collapse, Savathun. Ah! Ah! Help! Its energy is draining fast. Ah! Cursed by the Witch Queen after everything! Mara, it needs our help now. What do we do? I. I don't know. I'm sorry. Mara! Hello? She really just... left. Pain! 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 Okay, okay, who can help us? Who else knows about hive worms? Of course. Finch! Don't fail us now. Mara, are you there? Still nothing. Losing strength. Don't let me die. I'll kill you. You're not going to die. Just stay with us. Those hive wells Finch mentioned must be around here somewhere. There, ahead, a the well. Any better? Ah. <laughs> Barely. 
more! Need more! Carry me! Carry you? Need! Quick me! Hurry! Temporary. Deception Queen ran away. No surprise. A momentary lapse of judgment, nothing more. Mara, what happened? A story for later. First, we need to ensure the parasite's stability. Deep in Savathun's palace, you'll find Hive Light. Passageway nearby. We'll guide. Lead the way. We've got heavy light readings here. Take the cryptoglyph and fill it with that energy. And what about you? I'm here, in the throne world, headed to the ritual site. Meet me there once you've gathered the energy. I don't suffer thieves. Here they come. Guardian, get out of there. Now would be a good time for another shortcut, Worm. As you command. Mara, we're here. What now? Place the parasite inside the space. Then you must recite the first incantation. Oh no. What's wrong? The scorn, many of them, attracted by the presence of our parasitic friend, no doubt. Start the ritual now. But we don't know the incantation. I must do everything. Put me down. I'll recite. Be kind. Keep me alive. Dying here, Guardian! Stay close! That really took it out of me. Incantation's complete, but the worm is dying again. Mara, not to be harsh, but what's going on with you? Before coming to you, I sought information about the voice in the dark. The witness. What I found? Well, you could say I was granted a personal viewing of our impending doom at the hands of the witness. Its poisons, piercing my mind and thoughts. I didn't know what to do. I had no plan. I was... afraid. I remain haunted, unsure of the next move. But it must be made, regardless. Over here! We lack time. Scorn send their strongest yet. Bring everything to me. Mara, you don't have to do this. There must be another way. Just trust me. Wait, what is this? What have you done? What I said I'd do, provide you with a host. Though I guess this is really more a prison of light. Not what we agreed! Enough, worm. You'll live, just like you wanted. The Scorn, they see the worm as an asset to the witness. They will not relent until they have it. Take the weapon and use it against me. I need to finish the ritual or we risk our parasitic friend escaping. Not quite. Our little friend here still owes us information. Me? Make good? After your deception? Perhaps you'd prefer my earlier proposition of your insides lining the floor? Always violent. Fine. Have information. But only this. No more. Ever. Truth you seek. Humanity's collapse. Even the witness deceived. 
the Witch Queen did its bidding, earned its trust, rode alongside to Apocalypse, watched many burn, but the witness turned a violent gaze to Traveler. Witch Queen projected lies, clever deceptions wrapped in shadow. Tides turned, witness sent away, back amongst the stars. Are you saying Savathun deceived the witness? Is she the reason humanity survived? Not the reason. A reason. Not for humanity, but for Traveler. My promise delivered. We'll say no more, ever. Consider the deal upheld. This is exactly what we sought. For now, I have one final task for you. The weapon. Keep it safe and secret. We can't afford anyone else getting their hands on the information it holds. I must leave. Parasite, it's been... Uh... Spare me. Gladly. My kid, as you know, our inquiry into Mars has grown well beyond its original bounds. As of right now, it seems the relic is our common link between the phenomena here and Savathun's plans. I want to know how, and I want to know why. Continue your assignments. Evidence, leads, anything of relevance, be sure to log it here. This is a complex knot we have to entangle. This board should help us keep our thread straight. The children of the Witness wage a war. It spans centuries and galaxies. They see the fall of thousands of civilizations, the silencing of millions of thoughts. In the mind of one of these warriors lives the memory of an ancient weapon, a blade that cuts with the shining edge of beautiful, terrible logic. Through a game of riddles, I steal this memory for myself. I make the weapon mine, but I do not keep it. I use it as a lure. My hidden, we've put together enough pieces of the puzzle. A picture is finally beginning to form. Sabathun stole the idea of the glaive from the Witness's disciple in order to lure us into unlocking her memories. But beyond that, she had no plans for upgrading the Hive's weaponry. Imaru, however, aims to impress. He's been on the hunt for the remaining fragments, so he can arm the Lucid Brood with enhanced glaives. So, I propose a gamble. Our intel places Imaru in a dark area of the throne world. Take the fragment there as a lure. If we play this right, we may be able to get a new glaive and a ghost in one fell swoop. Well, Amaro is still on the loose, but at least we cut off any chances of him upgrading the Lucent Brood's weaponry. You can reap your reward from the relic. Guardians, I am not your vanguard and I give no orders, only a warning. The pyramid ahead is not like those you've previously encountered. This one was not left for you to find. You were not guided to it, not beckoned. This domain belongs to a dark entity, unknown in power. It seeks domination of the throne world. Your presence within will be most un... Welcome, children of light. Drown in the deep. 
all rise from it. Earth scorches. Suns fade. Look beyond. Witness sees light fall, glimpses you free of chains, boundaries, truly limitless potential, domination unbound. The upended, a triumvirate, opportunity, preservation. Salvation. It will serve the deserving. Crush the defiant. Not kings. Not gods. Disciples. Prophets. Saviors serving existence. An undying purpose. A privilege. Defiant, subjugated, not for pleasure nor glory, but in service of an ailing, endless void. Where does your purpose lie? Resilient, but credulous, you came to conquer. Moved pieces, turned gears. To us you sought harm, but performed aid. The upended will live out its namesake. This world will be sealed from the light, leaving your kind to suffer. You are not fit to serve the deserving. You will not rise from the deep but drown in it. Intentions aside, Savathun is solely responsible for her own ruin. If only we'd known the flood she was holding back. These things don't see themselves as gods, no. They believe themselves so much more than that. And yet, with all that power, it was wielders of light and dark, saviors of humanity, who brought them down. Regardless of victory, we must remember that was only a taste of success, barely achieved. There will be more, and the power they hold will pale in comparison to that of their maker, the Witness. We must now face an inevitable truth. The Witness and its followers, they're coming. All of them. And when they get here, we'll finish what they started. Guardian, you're needed within the Throne World Pyramid. The Scorn have become frenzied at the death of the Witness's disciple, Rolk. They seek to take the Pyramid out of our hands and use its power to capture the Throne World for themselves. One final desperate attempt to win a battle they've already lost. Ensure it stays that way. The Scorn retreat from the Pyramid once more. You will undoubtedly be needed again when they return. The upended. A title suitable for that which turns worlds upside down. When I was still uninitiated, I would stand guard at my post. I would look to the sky and see the two suns of my Lubre. One eternally shaded in the dark, the other always a brilliant blue. And in them, 
I had seen the folly of our kind. A fear of something we believed bigger than us, and a reliance on that which kept us. That blue sun that we harnessed our power from, a simple reversal of that power, cracked the blue in half, shut it off, and Lubre died. I did not know it at the time, but it was necessary. And now that Sabathun has trapped me within these walls, it will be necessary again. My witness. Whether I survive Sabathun's betrayal or not, the upended will ensure we salvage our perfect goal. The final abyss awaits us all. Congratulations. Scorn defeated. Perhaps we stay longer? Enjoy atmosphere? This isn't a vacation. We'll stay only as long as we have to. I'm sure we'll be back anyway. Here, Worm. Have your family reunion. Worm Mother. Though you sleep eternal, your role in Grand Symphony persists. Legacy will be carried best I can. Okay, okay, that's enough. Moving on. Puppets. All of them. Every last krill. Every last hive. I once believed in a higher calling as they do. But you know that. You rescued me from that. Eternal appreciation doesn't even scratch the surface of what I owe you for the gifts you gave me. I know you hoped the Krill would see it too. We tried. We really did. But we had to let them struggle. All because of a belief that purpose had finally found them. Given them strength to conquer an oppressive home world. How else were they to grow? Their loss, however, is for them to grieve, not us. We will continue forward. Greater purpose awaits, my witness. When I stood on that precipice, watching the only world I knew collapse under its own weight, I was prepared for the splendor of abyssal eternity. But you brought me forth my witness, freed me from the world that imprisoned me, made me see the ultimate truth, one I could never see alone. That on my planet Lubre, who I was, where I was, what I believed mattered, all amounted to absolute insignificance. I keep this mural not as some worthless sentimental reminder of what I lost, but of the opposite, of what I gained. Power. Truth of the inconsequence of most. Control over the universal strings of fate. For all this, I am eternally grateful, my witness. It was your infinite wisdom, my witness, that led me into the planet's great sea, and face to face with that which was believed to be unbeatable. You instilled in me a true understanding of wanton domination. Not for pleasure, but as a means to achieve our absolute finality. When I reached the creature known to some as the Leviathan, it laid its thoughts bare. Turn from the deep fearmonger, it relayed. 
I know what you seek. Press on, and you will drown in it. I do not drown. I spoke with a defiant tongue. In a mere infinitesimal measure of time, I held a rib of this beast in one hand and pushed aside its maimed vessel with the other. I rise. You opened fire on us. My warriors were responding to unexpected threats. Surprised you had the troops left to report the incident. Not sure I'd go in there if I were you. The rules of engagement had changed. I don't need to listen to this. Guardian, what fortuitous timing. Indeed. I'm fresh from performing Cabal funeral rites. Care to explain? Our condolences, Empress. Your people fought and died with honor. But they didn't have to. We can all prevent future losses if we choose to put the incident on Mars behind us and work together. What we discovered there is a threat to both humanity and the Cabal. You want my help. Want is a strong word. You need my help. I don't know how the Hive came into possession of the Light. My core will find out. But in the meantime... Invincibility lies in the defense. The possibility of victory in the attack. Sun Tzu. I've read your texts. You want us to hit them. I need us to hit them. Hard. I meet you in blood, Guardian. There was violence between your people and mine. This will be forgiven. Once. Our alliance must be strong to stand against Savathun's hive. I see Commander Ikora has delivered the Synaptic Spear. Light suppressing Cabal technology. Refined and weaponized. Locate a hive lieutenant. One brimming with Savathun's influence. My scions will force it into their mindscape and connect your light to the light of the weakened hive. It will struggle against you. You will face embodiments of its belief in Savathun. Take up your spear and destroy them and it will be left lightless. Without the light or a worm, the hive will die. Unless my scions keep it alive, we will bring it to your helm and sift through its broken mind to discover its secrets, all under the watchful eye of your Lord Saladin. I have led many warriors into battle, but this psychic warfare, I will enjoy the experience. Fight well, Guardian. Bring glory to both our clans, and break these hive against the bow of our union. Young Wolf, we have need of your fangs. The Vanguard is split. While Ikora deals with Savathun in the Throne World, we're facing more direct threats here on Earth. Lucent Hive have broken into the EDZ. Our guardians on the ground were caught unprepared. The reinforcements we sent were lost. We are facing a new enemy. Hive with the light. I will not allow it. So I'm sending you. I'm told you can use that spear to sever the Hive's connection to Savathun, essentially killing it. 
But before it can die, we capture it, bring it here for psychic analysis. Keitel Scions are the key to this operation. If you see them on the battlefield, resist the urge to open fire. We need them to learn what happened to our guardians and how to stop it from ever happening again. The Hive are at our doorstep. They think their corrupted light gives them the strength to stand against us. Now go to the EDZ and show them how wrong they are. Guardian, we've had several fire teams go MIA in this area. This must be part of a larger Lucent Hive offensive. But we need more information. Defeat one of Savathun's lieutenants and secure them for psychic analysis. Bring them to your tower, and my scions will wrest the truth from their minds. We found your missing warriors, drained of their light. And the hunting party responsible. They'd hoped to ambush a less formidable fire team. But they got us instead. Find their leader and make them pay, Guardian. There's some kind of hive magic at work here. I think it's using the light they took from our Guardians. They are using your own powers against you. You must do the same. Seize their blades and cut a path through their sorcery. My Scion operatives confirmed that this is our target. Be ready to enter the Mindscape, Guardian. You're stepping into the Mindscape now. You will be confronted by the Hive's core beliefs. Those include their devotion to Sabathun. Destroy that link. Those projections of Sabathun aren't real, but they do real damage. Lucky for us, so does the Synaptic Spear. Drive it through the Witch Queen's illusions. So many dead guardians, stripped of their light. How do we come back from this? Sometimes you don't. When the Iron Lords were betrayed by Rasputin and slaughtered by Siva, we never recouped our losses. But the world moved on. Sometimes, in order for the new growth to blossom, the old must wither away and die. Is that what these Hive are? The new growth? Or are you talking about something else? Find the answer yourself. Guardian, we're already getting results from the mind scans of the Hive you brought back. These things are ravenous. They're hungry for our power. They're hunting guardians, draining their light, collecting it. We haven't discovered why. Savathu knows how to keep a secret, and so do her hive. I need you to hunt more of them, cut them off from their light, and make them wither in the face of ours. They hate us, guardian. They want to usurp us, become us. I will never let that happen. For now, we have to trust that we share a common enemy with the Empress. Every instinct I have is telling me to strike. Centuries of conditioning. But instincts can lie. If I had told you just a handful of years ago that we'd have a guardian who was once Aldrin Sarv here in the tower, a catch docked in the city, and the beginnings of an alliance with the Cabal, I'd have locked you up. You and I, Cora, both. On that note, Crow, he's undisciplined, no respect for the chain of command, and now, with Aldrin's memories, do you honestly think that behavior will improve? You're not wrong, but he stepped up time and again when lives are on the line, including mine. Oh, we can't afford mistakes now. Won't survive them. I know. I also know you're willing to take chances on someone who's a risk. He's dangerous.
hopelessly overconfident. So was I. You were different. Times were different. They were. But I changed thanks to you. And together we changed the times. What was that saying of yours? Every blade needs a whetstone. Zavala. Crow needs guidance. And I can't think of a better guide. Give him the same chance you gave me, Saladin. Once upon a time. You fought well in the Mindscape, Guardian. Keitel's most trusted scion is searching this Hive Lieutenant's mind as we speak. Each Hive holds a piece of the puzzle. The more we capture, the more intel we gain. If we discover their plans, we can bring their entire operation down upon them. They thought it would be easy. Take the light and watch us crumble. Now the Lucent Hive are coming face to face with Guardians, true warriors of the light. And they're afraid. We'll find what secrets they're hiding, and when they gather for their next ritual, you'll be there. With the full strength of the light behind you. Guardian, my scions have intercepted a series of psychic broadcasts. They're coming from a decommissioned Cabal bunker on Mars. The messages are perceptible only to those with psionic abilities. They paint my rule and our coalition as treachery. They openly encourage mutiny and coax the defectors toward the Black Fleet. Commander Zavala and I agree that these recruitment efforts must be stopped. But... I should not be seen using my forces to suppress Scion communications. So you will be the executor of my fury. Go to Mars and eradicate this cowardly rebellion. Guardian, Empress Keitel's forces are being targeted by psionic propaganda. This could indicate an alliance between the Black Fleet and a group of Scion rebels. I cannot be seen deploying my forces here. Instead, I must rely on my new Vanguard allies. This operation is in both our best interests. Find out who is behind those transmissions. Shut them down. I have a pleasant surprise for you. Something that I'm sure will make an impact. But first, the airspace must be cleared. You heard me, Empress. Steal one of those interceptors and take out those flat cannons. Orbital bombardment incoming. Make haste. Whoever's behind this operation is willing to sacrifice their base to destroy the evidence. In my legions, those inside would do it themselves. Guardian down. Heads up, Guardian. I got a ten-ton present for you. I hope you're ready to eat, because this baby's hungry for action. I admit, watching the Guardian crush these defectors, it stirs something in me. Of all reinforcements are rallying on you, I'll soften them up and you knock them down. Fighting against your own people can't be easy. They are not my people. Of all reinforcements are rallying on you, I'll soften them up and you knock them down. We cannot destroy those broadcast transmitters until we lower their shields. Holiday spotted the generators during her flyover on the far side of the battlefield. Slice through their front, Guardian. Leave only wreckage in your wake. Quickly! The source of the transmission is destroyed. We may never learn who was behind it. Eliminate all the Scion spotters to halt the artillery strikes. Don't worry. The Guardian will make it in time. I never worry, Commander. I only long to see my enemies crushed to a grainy pulp. Guardian, you've reached the origin of the Psionic broadcasts. Eliminate these traitors. 
for the honor of the Vanguard and the Empire. These broadcasts are not comprised of words, but images, feelings, and impressions. My optuses will show me their contents through a telepathic link, similar to the Mindscape. I see... the silhouette of a scion. They stand at the head of a full Cabal Legion. Above them hovers a black pyramid. And behind them stands a towering statue of gold. A statue of my father, Callus. His arms outstretched. Hand open. Beckoning. I can hear his voice. It calls to me. Promising refuge. Promising... Salvation. <gasps> the broadcast and orbital strike have been disabled. You have my gratitude, Guardian. But look, those chests are from the Leviathan. Gifts from Kellis. Is he funding this operation? I'd hoped that my father would live out his days quietly, in exile. But even now, he's an embarrassment to me. And the Cabal. We'll continue ops in this location to learn more. Meanwhile, the Vanguard will locate the Leviathan and your father. When you do, I'll see to him myself. Callus' forces have rebuilt their base more quickly than we anticipated. My father provided the resources for reconstruction, but a scion created the broadcasts. We need to know who's behind this up. After what happened with Osiris, the Vanguard is prioritizing matters of psychic warfare. We can't rely on help from Techians and Spices forever. It must be difficult for you to see Cabal cannons turned against their makers. Cabal are not sentimental about such things. In war, everything is expendable. Eyes up, gun. We've just intercepted a call for orbital bombardment on your location. Callus spent many resources rebuilding here, but he would sacrifice it all to keep his collaborators secret. Paddle and I don't see eye to eye much, but she thought you could use some more firepower. And for once, I agree. The Black Fleet already has the advantage. We're playing catch up. If they can convince my Scions to defect en masse, their ability to wage psychic war will be unmatched. I can't believe Callus has the nerve to stick his fat fingers in our business again. Let's run these jokers out of town. My father poured many lives and resources into reconstructing these transmitters. All to undermine my rule. His commitment to this installation worries me. The alliance between Callus and our mystery scion is stronger than I suspected. It's very like the Cabal to have massive cannons disabled by the loss of a few scions. It's also like us to rebuild an entire base without the Vanguard noticing. Where are these troops coming from? Are they all defectors? Some, not all. If the Leviathan has been reinforced, then my father's cloning operation could account for their numbers. So these are Callus' followers. Betrayers and propagandists for the Black Fleet. Take them out, Gun. Unmask their commander. This latest message depicts... a scene of violence. I see myself. It's the failed attempt on Commander Zavala's life. Through the Assassin's eyes. The memory of his death. He rushes at Commander Zavala, and I feel his surprise when your crow steps in his way. He is helpless as I lift him up. Oh, how he fears me. I throw him down. His spine snaps. His organs rupture. Panic and confusion as his life drains away. The last thing he sees is Commander Zavala and me. Standing above him, together, 
Only one scion left alive would have such intimate knowledge of this. The traitor Yerix. Excellent work, Guardian. Your operation gave us a glimpse of our true enemy. The latest broadcast betrays its source. This is the work of the rebel Yerix and her enclave. They were behind the attempted assassination of Commander Zavala. She also possesses light-dampening technology, based on intelligence stolen from your weapon foundries. If that's the case, then her alliance with Kellis and the Black Fleet was inevitable. Our enemies have started a psychic arms race, and the Vanguard is struggling to keep up. Psionic propaganda continues to erode my legions, despite our operations. Now Eryx leads a powerful group of Scions against us, with Callus and the Black Fleet at their backs. We may not be able to strike at her or your father, yet. But we can limit their influence, kill their transmission, and their collaborators. The amount of material flooding into this location is staggering. It can all be Red Legion surplus. Correct. The Rebels must control a production outpost in a nearby system. They've targeted a base with another bombardment, Guardian. Such is the heroism of the Cabal. Heroism doesn't guarantee victory. No. It guarantees a good death. Clear the LZ, Guardian. Got a new toy for you. Courtesy of Empress Keitel. I have to admit, she's got style. Yerix and her rebels are not to be underestimated. The clairvoyance is matched only by the Vex. Future Sight is a treacherous weapon. Our future war cult learned that the hard way. Respect, Commander Zavala. Scions do not make such blunders. So these rebels are the same ones that tried to kill Zavala? It's time for some payback. Yerix spreads a message of psionic solidarity using my father's resources. On Earth, we call that irony. Unleashing that much ordinance to stop just one fire team. The Cabal express admiration through Megatonage. Consider it a compliment. Empress, you said Urix was behind the attempt on my life. But why? Urix is motivated by the notion of a unified Scion nation free to develop their full potential. She believes the players nearly accomplished that with the Sundial, until you killed them. These Scions are traitors and servants to the Rebel Eryx. Eliminate all resistance and secure that broadcast console. This message shows some sort of Scion ritual. Oh. A religious ceremony. It's in the far past. So distant. Before their assimilation into the Cabal. The feeling is difficult to describe, but I know it well. Something like militant nostalgia. The ritual leader, an elder, is speaking about how the spark of divinity exists in all of us. How we are unified beyond death. An eternal chorus. It's... peaceful. And utter nonsense. Those beliefs were brutally subjugated by the Scions themselves long before we conquered them. Yerix clearly wishes to stir a sense of forgotten Scionic unity under the banners of Callus and the Black Fleet. Well done. With each operation, our enemy's intentions become clearer. That's exactly what worries me. Savathun already infiltrated the last city using psychic manipulation. But now, the Black Fleet has added Callus and Scion rebels to its ranks. Such things make our coalition more valuable by the day. Sharpen your mind as I sharpen my blade. When the time comes, we'll cut my father to ribbons. Together. Guardian, 
Yurix continues to broadcast psychic messages across the system. Unrest among my scions is high, and defections are increasing. We've knocked this operation down several times, but Kellis seems willing to rebuild. If his cloning enterprise is operational again, the loss of life will be no deterrent until that life is his own. My father was never known for his strength of commitment, yet this operation has his full devotion. Whatever happened aboard the Blackheart must have changed him, and not for the better. Orbital bombardment incoming, Guardian. The clock is running. Good job clearing the air, Guardian. Got a present for you. She weighs more than my bird. Roll right over him and don't look back. My father and I are estranged. But he would not create such a sophisticated operation out of spite alone. Whatever will my father now serves motivates him beyond his usual pettiness. Oh, it's good to be back in the fight, Guardian. I've missed being your eye in the sky. Give him hell! This base represents a battle for the minds of my legions. It cannot be allowed to corrupt them. The Blackfeet offers power and unity. That will always be attractive to those who are desperate. This base represents a battle for the minds of my legions. It cannot be allowed to corrupt them. The Blackfeet offers power and unity. That will always be attractive to those who are desperate. The Scion spotters are waiting to risk their lives targeting the artillery. They're foolish for taking to the field against us. Empress, you saw what the darkness did to those aboard the Blackon. My father was corrupted by pride long before he communed with the voice in the darkness. He could not be more disgraceful now than he was as Emperor. These are the emissaries of Yerix, Callus, and the Black Fleet. Destroy them. This latest transmission from Yurix shows the same images over and over, flashing almost too quickly to perceive. They are indistinct, as if multiple pictures were laid atop one another, variations on a theme. Ah, these must be psionic divinations, impressions of things yet to come. I never dreamed I would see them for myself. I... I see... a city... besieged. The ship-stealer revived. The Leviathan reborn. Your traveler... infected by darkness. These are the futures our enemies seek. We must remain united if we are to forge a different path. Hard fought, Guardian. We've stopped Yerkes' recruitment campaign and gained valuable intel on the Blackfleet's tactics. They will try to use our families against us. First it was the warlock Osiris, and now Callus. But if they thought that wearing my father's face would blunt my fury, they are mistaken. Good, you're here. Keitel's most trusted scion was able to pull the truth from the mind of the last hive you captured. They're preparing something on Earth, in the Cosmodrome. Keitel believes they're stockpiling the light taken from our guardians. She's having trouble getting precise readings. There's a barrier in the way. The hive are trying to hide what they're doing from us. I need you down there. Find the Hive responsible, crush its spirit, tear it from the light, and drag it back here. Then, we will lay its evil secrets bare. Do not hesitate. Show them your iron will. My Scions have learned that the Lucent Hive are stockpiling light at this facility. 
They suspect that it's for a ritual of some kind, but their goal remains unclear. Whatever it is, we need to stop it. Indeed. Get down there and disrupt their operation by any means necessary. Where did Sabathun learn to use the light for her rituals? She spent enough time as Osiris to learn everything about us. Looks like the Scion's intel was good. This is the storage facility they reported. Those containers, they're filled with stolen light. There's our subject. Weaken their body, and my Scions will keep their mind alive. I prefer to terminate them. What were they doing with that light? Refining it, maybe? Preparing it? Preparing it for what? Let's hope this lieutenant knows the answer. You're stepping into the mindscape now. You will be confronted by the Hive's core beliefs. Those include their devotion to Sabathun. Destroy that link. I don't know how the mindscape works, but anything wearing Sabathun's face is trouble. Run it through with the Spear, Guardian. Zavala, our protege has expressed doubts about this plan. Crow has endured quite a bit since joining our ranks. Eternity is a long time not to suffer any doubts. If he can't handle the stresses, then he shouldn't be on the battlefield. This isn't a war game, Zavala. It's a war. Do you believe I am unaccustomed to war, Saladin? No. That's the problem. We don't have time to second-guess our every move. These Risen Hive are just as unafraid of death as they were before. They know we can destroy their ghosts, and yet... They just keep coming. Belief is a power. Belief in a cause, in a leader, in a people. Belief can make any sacrifice palatable. Is that why so many of your Cabal are willing to sacrifice themselves for your ideals? Because they believe in you? Yes. Just as you were willing to sacrifice yourself for Commander Zavala. I'd like to know what the Lucent Hive are planning. I feel like I've been dancing to Sabathun's song for too long. Whatever the Witch Queen's scheme, my Scions will uncover it. Using mind control tactics against Sabathun. Seems risky. The minds of my Scions are hard as bone and fluid as blood. They will not be mistaken. Do you think it hurts? Hurts? I could feel Savathun behind my eyes when she reached into my mind. What do you think these high feel when we reach into theirs? I also find the Scion's methods unsettling, but they can uncover Savathun's plans more efficiently than I ever could. Better to just put them out of their misery. Keitel believes these Hive might hold deeper secrets. Do not make the mistake of thinking these things deserve your sympathy. Even though they have the light, Maybe you were the wrong person to put on this assignment. They may be our enemies, but this feels like a new low for the Vanguard. For Zavala. Watch your mouth. You knew Light sees Zavala as some toothless diplomat, but you wouldn't believe what he sacrificed to become the man he is. Someone who will make the hard choice and make sure his people understand why. And I can't wait to hear the speech about all this. You want a speech? Today the Vanguard did what had to be done. Mercy prevailed. Speech over. Say it a little louder. I don't think this guy could hear you. This doesn't look like mercy to me. Then you're not looking hard enough. Long ago, even before there was a last city, 
I was deep on patrol in the old forest when a local villager sought me out. They asked me to catch a thief. I told them the Iron Lords were no mercenaries, but I saw their pride as well as their poverty. When they offered me a loaf of black bread instead of coin, I agreed. Just before sunrise, I caught my thief. A young girl, stealing what she could carry. Food when she could find it, coin when she couldn't, weapons to protect what she had taken. There was no fear in her eyes. She said the bandits in the forest ordered her to steal in exchange for protection. The penalty for theft in those times was death. Instead, I pulled the crest from around my neck and pressed it into her hands. I told her the wolves would protect her. In a settlement rich with stolen supplies, I found the bandits and cut them down. 38 lives to spare one. And for a time, I believed that was mercy. Many winters passed before I found myself back in that part of the old forest. This time, no one sought me out. So I sought them instead. Wind blew through rotted wood and rusted metal where the village once stood. And behind it, graves. Then piled stones, then bare mounds of earth, and then... a pit. My blood was high. I tore through the forest, hunting for those responsible. Finally, in a settlement rich with stolen supplies, I found her. A lightless woman, with my crest around her neck. There was no fear in her eyes. She spoke plainly. When the villagers could no longer tithe, her wolves no longer protected them. She bled them dry, and when they had no more to give, she sent in her men, unleashed her wolves. Mercy to an enemy cannot come at the cost of mercy for their victims. The right path isn't always easy to find. But once you do, the only question is whether you're strong enough to walk it. Consider that the next time you feel pity for our enemies. Guardian, over the last year, friends and advisors within the last city have fallen victim to psychic manipulation. Those losses and the rediscovery of the Crown of Sorrow meant that we had to develop psychic countermeasures. So I authorized the deployment of this containment unit developed by Keitel Scions for psychic analysis of the Hive. The machine can hold the Hive in a painless limbo, neither alive nor dead. This allows Scion operatives to examine their minds, gleaning the information we need. After everything that happened to Osiris, it makes me uncomfortable to rifle through their brains like this. But Guardian lives are at stake. You will be our boots on the ground. And Lord Saladin will oversee the operation to ensure everything goes smoothly. We'll only have this asset for a limited time, so make it worthwhile. Good luck. Have you ever met someone as frustrating as Crow? The Lucent Hive are killing Guardians in cold blood, and he wants to know if what we're doing hurts. I didn't want to encourage him. But when Zavala came in here, he asked me the same thing. I don't like to revisit the past, but Crow has got to learn perspective. 
I doubt he even heard what I said. As for me, I'll crack a hive open because I like the sound it makes. But I'd rather defeat them on the battlefield than in a lab. These demons have taken the light. They're killing guardians. I saw a hive knight wielding a void shield. It's sacrilege. Nothing is more important than stopping them. These are desperate times, Guardian. I know it, you know it, and Crow. Let's hope he's a fast learner. Did you assure him that they aren't suffering? It was a stupid question. Celadon. There's no answer I could have given that would satisfy him. It doesn't matter whether or not they suffer, if they're alive or dead or something in between. He sees himself in them, like he sees himself in Aldrin. How do you know this? I asked Keitel Sion. Crow radiates pain, he said. He's the one suffering, and in a way his ghost can't heal. I know what self-loathing feels like. And I know grief. This isn't anything like... You're stronger than he is. And who helped me find that strength? When I was at my lowest. <sighs> Crow is grieving. For himself, for the innocence he's lost. For the price of the truth. He's going to hurt himself, or worse, hurt someone else. You've always been more than a soldier, Saladin. You're a protector. So protect. We must be getting close to whatever the enemy is hiding. Their hostilities are escalating on all fronts. The single-minded cruelty of the new Hive reminds me of the old warlords. It's as though I never left the deep forests. Before all this, I was one of the last in the tower to have ever killed a ghost. But it seems that old brutality never stopped following us. If the Hive have taken our light, let us take their ferocity. Let us force them into the Mindscape and smother their false light. Let us tear their schemes from their minds. Return to the Battle Guardian. Show them they've done nothing but teach us how to destroy them. It feels so pointless. All this fighting. We're supposed to be immortal, but now seeing, knowing how fragile light bearers truly are. It was hard for me to reconcile final deaths when I was freshly risen. All this potential cut so short. How did you find a sense of purpose when you finally saw through the illusion of immortality? The death of one guardian can be a rallying cry for an entire generation. And don't forget, a single guardian can accomplish great things in the short time they have. You have done well. The Hive are in disarray. I spoke to the Scion running the equipment while you were gone. The one Keitel trusts above the others. I used words while I allowed him to use telepathy. He hosted me in his mindscape. It was not what I had envisioned. A neutral place where we met as equals. He shared with me openly. He sees flashes of gray and red in the minds of the Hive. He interprets this as a vision. We will soon know where to attack. I was struck by the tone of his thoughts. His actions are heavy with a sense of duty. He does not enjoy working on an unwilling mind, no matter how wicked it may be. I mentioned Keitel, and he radiated warm feelings. Harsh, brutal feelings, but still warm. He and Keitel share an old friendship. 
Crow has been sulking more than usual lately. Perhaps I should encourage him to speak with the Scion as well. It may do him good. I will contact you when we have taken the new information from the Hive. Until then, Iron Will, Guardian. I didn't expect you people to deploy a cannon quite that large. I don't think the Hive did either. A cannon is unexceptional, no matter the size. But a Guardian with the tusks to climb into one and fire themselves at a Hive command ship? When death is no longer an obstacle, it becomes a remarkable teacher. Lessons learned in your crucible. And the Iron Banner. Lord Saladin is very proud. He may not appreciate the comparison, but he thinks like a Primus. Empress, I know this is a sensitive topic. But how long do you believe your forces can commit to a sustained war against our enemies? Until the last of us draws their final breath. We have a loose assessment of your numbers, estimates on your fleet in orbit. If this is to become a permanent alliance... Our war with the Hive is not a matter of strategy or force, Commander, but one of honor. Billions died on Toro Bottle. Countless more on other worlds of the Empire that collapsed to infighting or further invasion by Zivu Arath. Outside our rituals, the death of even one Cabal demands reprisal. A life for a life. The Hive have accrued a great debt. And who will raise a monument to your people's honor when the last Cabal dies? Waging a war of vengeance. You. Load your guns, Guardian. The Scion has discovered the truth behind the Hive's plans. They're vying for control of the Scarlet Keep on the moon. The Lucent Hive want to take it from Zivu Arath's forces and claim it for themselves. They're using their stockpiled light, taken from dead guardians, and trying to manifest Savathun's throne world. If they're successful, they'll launch a full-scale invasion of Earth. This was their plan from the beginning. Take our home, corrupt our planet, overrun us, remove us from the universe. And when we are gone, forgotten, they will become the Guardians. Go to the Scarlet Keep. Summoning the Throne World will take an elaborate ritual. Stop it. Kyle has pledged her full support and is already approaching the moon with her forces. Let that be the last thing these hives see. Unity in the face of oblivion. Show them that even if they destroy us, they will never destroy who we are. I'm counting on you, young wolf. The Lucent Hive are attempting to retake the Witch Queen's position on your moon. Transporting an invasion force of this size must require a massive Hive ritual. Crow. Do you have eyes on the ritual? Crow, do you read me? Damn it. Push forward without him. We can't split our focus while the Lucent Hive is staging an invasion. You've got backup coming, Guardian. Cabal backup. Work together to take these hives down. Looks like the Hive saw us coming. Without Crow's recon, we're flying blind. My scions report an energy surge up ahead. It must be the hive ritual we seek. Good. Let's crush the ritual, bag their leader, and shut down this invasion. This must be the ritual that Keitel's scions reported. Those receptacles are focusing their stolen light. Bring down the tribute bearers and disrupt the portal. Once we halt the reinforcements, We'll chop the head off this snake. As Crow confirmed, is that our target? He's still missing. My scions confirm. Target acquired. Engage, but do not destroy, Guardian. Once my warriors send you into the mindscape, 
You may be as brutal as you wish. This is the Mindscape Guardian. It's a mental projection built by my Scions. Sever the Witch Queen's connection to this hive before it escapes. Well done. The invasion is halted. For now. A feat made possible by the Guardian and my Psionic Warriors, who have proven their worth yet again. When the Lucent Hive make their next move, the Vanguard and the Empire will stop it. Together. Let's not put the tongue before the tusk, small man. Trust is still being built. But for today, at least, I am happy to share a victory. Someone needs to track down Crow. I'll see you back at the tower. Crow, what happened? I didn't mean to. A full abort sequence initiated from this location. What have you done? I... I shut it down. I didn't know it would kill the Scion. Keitel sends an emissary to the tower, and you kill him. Can you even understand the repercussions this will have? I'll face them. What the Vanguard was doing here wasn't right. It's not your place to judge! You said the right path can be hard to find, but when you do, you have to be strong enough to walk it. I also said mercy to an enemy must not come at the cost of their victims. We already disrupted Savathun's ritual on the moon. I couldn't stand by while we did this to these Hive. The Hive are monsters. So was I. When Keitel learns of this, I hope the Vanguard can survive your conscience. Understand, don't you? Crow, how do you justify the innocent blood on your hands? It was honorable. It was an accident. A Cabal word for accident has two syllables. One is fault, the other responsibility. Honor the Scion whose life was taken. A life for a life, that is our way. That is your way, not ours. You will not deny us justice! Do what you believe is right. I did. I will honor you. You demand a life for a life. Take mine. Cabal reward bravery in the face of death. I accept. Your life is forfeit. You will serve the rest of your days on my war council as Brockus Forge. Then it's done. Zavala, you can't not a word. I suppose you're here to say goodbye, eh, young wolf? Or to demand to know why? Because I chose to. I saw you fighting alongside Keitel's warriors on the moon. A strong alliance. The Vanguard needs it now more than ever before. But Zavala... I also saw the look in his eyes. 
he would have thrown it all away to protect one of his people. And for a time, he would have believed that was mercy. I'm starting to think people don't really listen to my stories. I was given a wish once, and I chose to fight a dragon, because we are what we survive. I will serve this alliance. My shoulders have borne more weight than this. My honor holds its luster through deeper stains. If this is the cost of tomorrow for the Vanguard, I will gladly pay it. Keitel stayed her hand when I placed myself at her mercy. Because she chose to. That I can respect. I told Keitel she'd have to kill me to keep me from the Iron Banner. She said that wouldn't be necessary. In fact, she has a few ideas of her own. This may prove interesting. I left something in the helm for Crow. If he's half as smart as he thinks he is, he'll understand what it means. Until our paths cross again, young wolf. It's over, Guardian. The Lucent Brood will never take the Scarlet Keep, and their invasion forces in shambles. I'm grateful Saladin stepped in when he did. He preserved the Cabal Alliance without bloodshed. I'm afraid I was about to do something... rash. All these centuries later, and Saladin is still saving me from myself. I decommissioned the Psychic Analysis Program, against Keitel's recommendations. I suggested she continue to collect the dead Hive lieutenants for incineration, but that seemed to put her mind at ease. She's been true to her word. Crow's life debt is paid. Our coalition is back on solid ground. I have my reservations. But Saladin believes this is the best path forward. The Scion is avenged in the eyes of the Cabal, a gift that I assure you is not lost on the Empress. Most importantly, humanity finally has a voice on her war council. We must respect Saladin's choice. It should have been me. I could have died for something I believed in. You lack the self-awareness to know what you believe in. What? I... Your mind is a storm of guilt, both your own and someone else's. We put a gun in your hand and told you who we wanted you to be. And now you're struggling to reconcile a lifetime of Aldrin Sov's experience with only a few years of your own. We all die a final death. Yours was not meant to be today. I was wrong about you, Saladin. I'm so sorry. I respect you for sticking to your convictions, but let this be another lesson. Doing what you believe is right, as you have, as I have, doesn't absolve you from the consequences of those actions. Someone must always pay the price. Greetings, Guardian. I come bearing enlightening news. Brachus Forge has earned himself quite a reputation among the Cabal. Within his first three days aboard my ship, he was challenged to six rites of proving. He prevailed in them all. One of those challenges came from an officer on my war council. Brachus Forge defeated him with a single thunderous blow. As is our custom, he was promoted to Valis for his courage. He has also started a version of the Iron Banner aboard my flagship, at my request. There were many volunteers for his training. He calls his legionaries Iron War Beasts. We have much to learn from one another, and Valis Forge is an excellent ambassador. I dare say he even likes it here. And if a human can ascend to the rank of Valis in such a short time, imagine what the future holds. May we all live long enough to find out. <laughs> <laughs>